saw a bird and got really distracted. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. I guess I should just go ahead and begin this video by addressing the elephant in the room. There's a bit of a glaring issue occurring behind me here, which we're going to be getting into today. Most of you guys know that I am uh, what we would call like a procrastinator extraordinaire, even when it comes to one of my favorite things, which is unboxing stuff. So um, over here behind me, we have a just giant stack of boxes that I have yet to get into. So today we're just gonna be diving into this ginormous stack and that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's what's gonna be happening. These boxes are 100% not up to date and I totally understand if you guys are just like not interested at all, but I figure I'll feel a lot better once I get like this just structure out of my room. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dive on into this. Oh, we're already dropping things. This should be a disaster. Okay, so the, the first box I have here, I just have so many questions about. The outer packaging has nothing to do with the contents on the inside, but the contents on the inside, I have a lot of questions about. So uh, some of you guys might know that I had an earring subscription. It was like $3.50 a month for a pair of earrings, which was, you know, kind of a good deal and I haven't opened said subscription for like six months so I should have like six envelopes waiting to be opened but no I have this many envelopes from Earfleek what what excuse me so I'm just gonna like pop open a couple of these and uh, see what we got inside because we'd be here all day long if I tried to open all these this is why they were contained to a box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop open one of these here. Like I said, this is a super cheap earring subscription. I have a couple of different like, styles you can choose from and we're just gonna see what they've sent me. <gasps> it's pizza! I'm very excited about these. Oh, unfortunately the little post on this one is bent, but they're tiny little pizza slices. Just itty bitty little pizzas. All right, for the duration of this video, I will have pizza slices in my ear hole. So let's continue. Here is a quick little shot of all the other earrings from the pouches laid out on the couch. It looks like a lot less when it's like this instead of in thousands of envelopes. Next. Okay, so the next little thing we have here is from Love a Key. Love a key. On the little front here, it says natural skincare and natural glow. So I'm guessing this is kind of like a skincare subscription box. Maybe I should have, should have, maybe I should have done like a little bit of research on each of these boxes before I just started opening them. I'll put all the information down below in the description and some information on the screen for you guys. So let's go ahead and see what is in here. So we do have a little card on top that'll tell us all about it. Oh, it says, Happy New Year, Alexandria. I'm so sorry. Okay, well, I'm really glad that I am finally getting around to this. The first thing we have here on top is a little pop socket. And you know what? I'm actually kind of happy about that because my pop socket has seen better and less gross looking days. So uh, maybe I should swap these out. Ooh, this is really nice. Okay, so the next thing we have here is from New Body. This is a detox green clay mask, which I've actually never heard of green clay, but it's in like a real fancy glass jar. That smells very herbally. I'm glad I didn't like poof this open because there is no little seal on it or anything, but it's like a little fine powder which turns into a mask. All right, the next item in here is a Rosy Cheeks Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser with Rose Petals which detoxifies and cleanses skin. This is from Naturally Vain. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's definitely very, very rosy. Are those the rose petals? So there are like kind of big hunks of rose petal inside of here. They don't look super duper pretty after they wilted a little bit, but it definitely gives the scrub a very, very rosy scent if you like that. Man, that's heavy. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is from Luna, and this is a citrus and vanilla detox salt body polish. This is like a very, very heavy glass jar. It feels super duper nice. This seems like it's, oh no. Ooh. Oh, that smells like lemon cake or those soft top lemon cookies that you can get at Kroger. Has anybody tried those before? They're absolutely amazing. <laughs> I saw a bird and got really distracted. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, so next in here we have a Skin Sonic Sonic Babe little scrubby guy. I thought at first this was kind of like a beauty blender, but this... Oh, it's like a vibrating beauty blender. So this is like a tiny little Sonic 
cleaning scrubbery thing that vibrates really strong when you touch your eyeglasses with it. So that is definitely kind of fun. It reminds me of one of those like little Foreo Luna scrubby things. All right, then next up in here, we have a lavender body oil. Ooh, that sounds very relaxing. This is a 100% natural, no GMO, vegan essential oil. Oh, that smells really, really nice. And then finally, we just have a little thingy jig in here. And this is a Province Apothecary Moisturizing Cleanser and Makeup Remover. Avocado and raspberry. Ooh, yummy. All right, awesome. So that was Love a Key, and that was only five months old. All right, see, next up here, we have this box, which we've actually opened one of these before. This is the Tribe Beauty Box, but this one says Tribe Beauty Box X Porcelain. Porcelain? Porcelain. Oh, I think I've seen her before. Okay, so this is Porcelain up here, and I'm pretty sure I've actually watched um, videos on her channel before. I think I've even subscribed to her, so that's really cool. So I guess she got to curate this box. That's really fun. All right, so the very first thing we have in here is from Suva Beauty. This is the Saffron palette. That is fancy. Saffron is a highly expensive little spice that fancy people put in fancy food. Ooh, that's beautiful. Wow, okay, so I really love like warm toned shadows and these are super, super warm toned. We do also have like a little mirror in here. They're also like a combination of like some matte shades and shimmer shades, almost a little bit more heavy on the shimmery side. So here are some quick swatches of the shimmer shades. Ooh, lovely. Well, Dagoon, those have like a lot of pigment to them and they're like kind of creamy to the touch. And here are some quick little swatches of the matte shades. Okay, so I like these colors as well. There are not many matte shades. I like the cinnamon color down here, but they're a little bit underwhelming compared to like these super like very pigmented shimmer shades up here. But yeah, this is like a really pretty palette and I will definitely give it a try. Ooh, my pizza earrings might be making my ears itch just a little bit. All right. So next up in here, we have two little masks and these are both from the brand Masquerade. We have a Detox Diva and a Beauty Restore mask. The Detox Diva looks just like a little bit spooky. All right, next in here, we have something from IBY Beauty. This is a, ooh, Velour Liquid Lip. I got mine in the shade Flirt. That's just the sticker, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit more tame for me. I saw the sticker at first and I was like, Oh boy. But the actual shade I got itself is kind of like a more neutrally peach shade. This is a very pretty shade though. And oh man, I wish I hadn't chewed on the box. I was gonna say, um, I think I might pass this along to somebody else because I do own a lot of like kind of peachy neutrals but I did nibble on the box just a little bit. So I'm going to pass that along to a family member. Oh, this is a really nice box. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is something else from Suva Beauty, and this is really fun packaging. This is a block party palette. Oh my gosh, it's another eyeshadow palette. Wow. This one is very, very brightly colored, but the packaging on this is super cool. Oh, awesome. The palette itself also has that very like iridescent -y. I'm afraid to say that it's hollow. Here is the inside of the palette. Some of these colors I don't even think are reading as bright as they actually are on camera. These two right here seem to be really cool. This one is Boombox and this one's Lemonade. Oh, that is a very fun shade. Swatches a little bit maybe like powdery, but the color payoff is really, really nice. Then next up in here, this just keeps on going. We have something from Wonder Beauty, and this is Glow Ahead Face Oil. Hmm. Ooh, the packaging on this is really pretty. That's a very interesting top. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Oh, okay. So it has kind of like a little squeezy tube here for the top. And this is a face oil that is supposed to be, I guess, like illuminating. It's supposed to hydrate your face and make it look more radiant and naturally glowy. So that's fun. Something a little bit different. And then finally, last but not least, we have something from Luxie, which is very exciting to me. This is the Flawless Eye Set. And inside of here, you get your four little eye brushes. There is a mini flat angled brush, a mini tapered brush, a mini angled brush, and a mini round brush. So that's really, really nice. So yeah, that was a really good box. Okay, next up this is, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. In the uh, spirit of, whoops, I totally forgot I ordered that to do a review on my channel. We have this. And this is the uh, <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette, which released a little while ago. And I forgot that I ordered it. 
Um, I'll definitely have to use this maybe in like full face first impressions or something like that. Uh, next thing! I actually have a stack of three uh, Allure Beauty boxes, which I've totally forgot to unbox for the past three months. I'm sorry I am the way I am. Oh, Carly Bible! The Allure Beauty Box is a $15 a month beauty subscription and typically inside you get like sample and travel size stuff but every now and then, which I kind of think we do right now, you get like full size things, which is pretty snazzy. Oh my gosh! Okay, so the very first thing in here is a individual Natasha Denona eyeshadow, which I gotta be 100% honest with you guys. I did order the Natasha Denona Biba palette and I've been trying my best to make it work for me and it's still it's putting up a good fight. Um, so I'm gonna continue to work with it to try to get better at it, but this one is in the shade 24 karat bronzage. Oh man, that's some nice packaging for just an individual shadow. Ooh, very pretty color though. Anyway, so here it is in the pan and on my fingers. Very, very soft shadow. And man, it's really pretty. The payoff is beautiful. <laughs> Looks like a daggone penny on my arm. Then next up, making even more rounds, we have another Luxie brush. This is a small tapered blending brush by Luxie 231. And I really, really like the shape of this. It's like little and kind of like poofed a bit at the top, but um, I don't think I actually own a brush this shape, so I'm pretty excited about that. All right, so next up here, we have something from Laura Geller. This is the Incredible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil. Ooh, it's in the shade Purple Rain, Purple Rain. So it swatched pretty nicely, very smoothly. I wish it was a bit deeper, kind of like more of a dark plum. Ah, okay, so next up here we have something from Briogeo. This is the Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. And I have received so many Briogeo products in subscription boxes. They're decent products. There's some that aren't exactly my favorite. I just, I feel like I get these all the time. Ooh. So next up here, we have something from Vita Liberata, Advanced Organics. This is the Phenomenal Organic Tan Infused Cloth. I'm actually going to be in a wedding soon and I really wanted to go get a spray tan before it, but I'm terrified of getting the spray tan because of Oompa Loompa reasons. I've never been spray tanned before, I'm very pale, and I'm just afraid I'm going to walk out looking like an orange Skittle. Do they make orange Skittles? So I could give something like this a try. Um, right now I'm looking a little bit more tan, but that's just because I rubbed bronzer like all the way down my face and neck. All right, next up in here, man, this is like a fancy Allure Beauty Box. We have an Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick, and I think this is a full size. And I got mine in the shade Pure Hollywood. Okie dokie. So this is the shade here, and it's like a very, very pale kind of dusty pink. But I'm wondering, I'm wondering if this is gonna look a little bit like concealer lips on me. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a test and see how this works out. On camera, it looks like my lips are just entirely disappeared. They're just gone. They've been snapped. I don't know. Maybe if I needed like a super, super, super nude lip to go with like a really bright eye look or something. I'll let it hang out on my mouth and see what I feel about it, like when it dries down and stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and get on into this next box here. Again, no idea what month this is from. Oh, this one was from April. That actually wasn't that long ago. Okay, all right. I don't feel too bad about myself now. That just means that all the rest of them I'm about to show you are like much older. Oh, okay. This is actually outside of the little bag itself, but this is Au Naturel Cream Multi-Stick. And I got mine in the shade Grapefruit. So I'm gonna assume this is like kind of a, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, maybe like a little blush or like lipstick stick. It smells nothing of grapefruit. Ooh, okay, so this is kind of like just a creamy type stick. I'm assuming you can use this as blush, maybe on your lips. It does kind of have like a orangish metallic sheen to it. Not a huge fan of cream blushes, so I think this is something I'm going to be passing along to somebody else, but it does have very, very nice packaging, and I think it's a full size, so that's really nice. Ooh, okay, so whatever month that this was, the little bag was actually white, which is kind of cute. And one of the first items we have here is a little face mask, and these are from Bio Bell. And I've received several face masks from this brand before, and they all seem pretty nice. This is the Hashtag After Party Soothes and Brightens Skin with Blueberries and Yogurt. Again, yummy. All right, next up here, we have something from Acure, and and this is the Seriously Soothing Blue Tansy Night Oil. That sounds very fun. I hope the oil itself is actually blue. Always makes things a little bit more exciting. Ooh, it is actually like kind of blue. That is fun. There is 
literally nothing on this bottle. There's no instructions, there's no name, so if you forget what this is, then you've just forgot what it is. So there's nothing to tell you uh, anything about it, so you kind of have to read the box and remember. So it seems this is for like hydration of the skin. You're supposed to put one or two pumps in your hands, warm them up, put them on your face, and uh, yeah, that's it. Alrighty, next up in here we have this thing, and this is a Mammon. Mammondi? Rose water toner. Okay, so this is a little toner here. I do like the packaging of this. That kind of like pale pinky is really cute. I can't get over the fact that my lips feel like there's caked on clay on them. Just from the feeling of this little bottle, I knew that this was something that I have received before. This is from Belief. This is the True Cream Aqua Balm. And uh, I'll tell you guys what gave this little guy away as soon as I felt it. It's this false bottle where it seems like there's a lot more in it than there actually is. Okie dokie. Next up, uh, oh, something else I've used several times. This is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. It's a little sample of it. This is like super scrubby. This really just, it gets in there. It's like tiny little particles that all up in your pores and stuff. Okay, and then, oh, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so last but not least, we have something from Derma E Essentials, and this is another microdermabrasion scrub. I'm surprised they did like two microdermabrasion scrubs in one little bag, especially since you're not supposed to use these like every day. Last but not least of the Allure Beauty Boxes, we got this one. And again, it's refusing to tell me what month this is from, so we're just gonna have to just assume it's from multiple months ago. Anyway, we have a little black plastic bag at this time, and I think this one's probably my favorite, this one and the white one. Oh, starting off again with yet another little face mask here. Ah, this one is actually from the same brand as the rose water toner that we just got in the last box. It looks like this might also have like that same rose toner in it. This is a Flower Lab essence mask, so yeah. Next up here, we have something from Model Co. This is a metallic eyeshadow trio in the shade Mykonos. All right, so we do have a little trio here and the colors are actually really pretty. I like these kind of burgundy, like nice warm tone shades. Ooh, okay, this actually swatched really nicely. They went on pretty creamy, like nice feeling on my fingers too. All right, next up here, we have another little brush. This is from Moda. This is a M27 in the smallest possible writing they could have printed on this thing. The top of it is very different. I don't think I have a brush shaped like this. It says on here this is a triad eye brush. I don't know. Very different for me. I don't think I own anything like this. Okay, next up in here we have something from Wonder Beauty again. This is the Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. And for some reason Wonder Beauty like always puts their mascara in these little squeezy tubes. This one has a like super super straight and pretty skinny little like applicator to it. So next up we have something from the Brow Gal and this is the Instant. Instant. I, I don't, I, why can't I figure out what that says? Instant? Instatint. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Brown Hair O2 Tinted Brow Gel with Microfibers. Oh. But right through there you can kind of see the color of the gel itself. Microfibers aren't exactly my favorite thing to put in like mascara and stuff so I'm not sure how that'll work out like with an actual brow product. That's like the tiniest little spoolie ever. It's actually really cute. Next up in here, the exact same. I wasn't actually expecting that, so we have another Mamondi. Why can't I say that? Oh no, this isn't the same. Okay, so it's from the same brand, but this is a Petal Spa Oil to Foam. So this goes from like an oil to a foam for cleansing. Oh my gosh, that's the most rosy thing I've ever smelled. I might go ahead and pass along like that little set of the same brand stuff to somebody else and that enjoys rose stuff because that is incredibly rose scented. All right, last in here we have something from Mally and this is a high shine liquid lipstick in the say shade Orchard and this is almost kind of like a bit of a purpley tinted lipstick. What? That looks like some type of creature from the deep that just popped out of there. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it over top of this like desert clay sand that I have in my mouth right now because oh boy it's dry. I actually kind of like that combination together. It gives a little bit more moisture to the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. Alright you guys and that is the last of the Allure Beauty boxes from 
months past. We are not even sure at this point. I'll have to get over here. All right. I eventually am going to run out of unboxing steam or memory on my memory card. So we'll see which one comes first. So next up here, we have a Lola beauty box. Again, I'm not sure what this is from. But I do believe this is the first time I'll ever be unboxing this on the channel. It says makeup is my valentine so i'm gonna assume february <laughs> all right so the first thing we have in here is from miura this is a skin rehab charcoal peel off mask so charcoal peel off masks were like a huge thing a little while ago and i guess they're still making their rounds i haven't done one in a really long time because they pull your little face hairs real good when you try to get them off oh i think i have a bad chemical reaction it's like curdling or something on my lips. Next up in here, making yet another appearance, Wonder Beauty is just, it's real prominent in the uh, subscription box universe. So this is the Wonder Beauty Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil. I got mine in the shade Unknown. Holy guacamole, they weren't kidding, that's tiny. Oh my gosh. When they say micro, they mean micro. Y'all see that little speck right there? That is the brow pencil. I guess you could really get up in there and make some super, super tiny little fine lines with this. Okay, next up in here, we have something that feels like it's entirely empty, but I guess it's not. This is from the brand Vintage, which I have actually tried a couple of things from them before. This is a smoky eye pencil. Whoops, I ripped the box. Oh, I think I've actually tried this exact product before. So this is just kind of like a standard little pencil wooden black eyeliner. Um, I do like the packaging on the vintage stuff though. I think it's like really pretty and kind of like classically old looking. All right, next up in here we have the cheek to cheek blush palette from IBY Beauty. Teeth just work so well to open things. Oh, that's actually kind of adorable. The packaging on this is really, really cute. This looks like a wallet I had when I was like seven years old. I like the colors of these. We have Foxtrot and West Coast Swingin'. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh my gosh. I keep trying to swatch them on different fingers, but I rub one and then immediately rub the other one with the same finger. Okay, one, two, there we go. Oh wow, those are super pigmented and they went on really smoothly. I think I like this shade quite a bit right here. It's a little bit more subtle and neutral. And then last in here, we have something from Pure Cosmetics. This is the contour collection. And it looks like inside of here, we're gonna have contour and highlight shades, which is nice. These two probably look a little bit too orangey for me for contour, but the center one might kind of work out. And then we have two kind of more peachy powders here and then one more like yellow toned in the center. All right, so that was everything in the Lola box. Let's see how many more boxes I got to go. See how much more of this lipstick I'm gonna eat. All right, next up here, we have another box I've never opened before. This is the Create the Life You Dream box. So I have known nothing about this box really, but I'm very excited to see what's inside of it. Oh wow, the person who created this is a certified health and life coach. This is supposed to be like a personal development box and there are more things online that you can like experience will help you with personal development. So that's really interesting. It's wrapped very, very nicely. Oh, huh, okay, so this is the April box. So we're not that far off. I don't feel too terrible. The very first things I'm seeing in here, it looks a little bit like an Easter basket. It's kind of cute. I'll show you guys. So that's what it looks like on the inside. Very nicely wrapped, but these two little fellows right here look a bit like Easter eggs. So we have one bath bomb that says LB Wellness and one bath bomb that says LB Joy on them. Ooh, okay. So next up in here, we have a candle. And as you guys know, I love me some candles. <laughs> this is a Yo Soy candle in I Am Brave Cucumber Wasabi Cilantro. Ooh. Ooh, that is a very different scent. Oh, that smells good, you guys. You definitely get mainly kind of like a cucumber melon scent almost to it, but there's something like else in there that makes it smell real, real good. Oh, this is cute. So next up in here, we have a little pouch and it says days will be better and just like a cute little zipper pouch. You could put some like coins in there or something. All right, see, next up we have a little black pooly thing here. I'm very excited to see what's inside of this. Oh, it's a bracelet. Oh, that's actually really pretty. There's not much information like inside the little black uh, velvety thing, but the bracelet itself is super, super pretty. I like this quite a bit, actually. We just have some little pieces of paper in here. This one looks like a bookmark, which is pretty cute. Then we have something, oh, there's a free book. That's pretty cool. And a couple other little things, some like motivational stuff on them. Then there is a book in here. That's pretty cool. It is You Are Bad 
behind. Um, how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. That's really, really cool. And then there's also some more little information in here. That is really, really neat. So this is definitely a bit of a different box. It's not exactly focused around like beauty and that kind of stuff, but it's focused on like, you know, beautifying your insides and things. <laughs> is that everything? I guess I could open up like all of these Morphe Me's, but we'd be here for the rest of eternity. So probably not gonna do that. But I did go ahead and take a picture of everything laid out and unboxed and uh yeah yeah there's a good amount of it oh i almost forgot about this giant one back here this is another box i've never unboxed on the channel this is from bombay and cedar i'm super super interested in seeing what this box is all about oh that seems fun oh i'm so bad at growing things but this seems kind of fun this is an indoor grow kit a hydroponic planter that's so cool i am not good at plants or growing things um inside or outside so this is super interesting definitely going to be giving this a try there's like a whole system to this where you can grow things inside that would be awesome all right and here is the actual box itself i really really like the outer packaging of this super duper pretty this says bombay and cedar relax heal and cleanse probably shouldn't box cut toward my face not a good idea so it comes with a very nice little pamphlet here and then oh my goodness that's so pretty there's like a book on the top and it says shine it's really really pretty i love like the graphic on this and like the gold lettering in the center oh and this is just kind of like a motivational book with just like some motivational like quotes and things in it with some very pretty graphics on each page that's like a cute little coffee table book oh my okay so next up in here we have something from touchland power mist moisturizing hand sanitizer oh that's fun and this is aloe vera scented this is very very different i've never seen a hand sanitizer like this before Ooh, look at that that is the fanciest hand sanitizer i've ever seen <gasps> oh i breathed real deep on that one thinking it would just smell like aloe vera but there's still hand sanitizer in it okay now it smells like aloe vera but that's really cool it evaporates very quickly it also gets in your mouth just a little bit so be careful how close you spray it to your face that's still awesome this is like the coolest hand sanitizer i've ever seen oh i thought this was corn why did i think this was supposed to look like corn oh Ooh, the very next thing we have in here is an umbrella that is awesome <gasps> wait a second is this one of those weird upside down umbrellas or no i'm afraid to open it in the house maybe i can just open it a little bit that won't count will it okay so it's like all black on top but then on the inside you got a pretty little flower and i didn't open it fully so hopefully like the superstitious nests won't work that way okay so next up in here we have a very adorable little bag that says bombay and cedar on it this might be some essential oils they look like oils that i've received before oh, they are all right so these are actually from bombay and cedar that's really nice i think they do sell like oils and things like that on their website we have blossom pure essential oil blend and then we have a lemongrass 100 percent pure essential oil <laughs> Ooh, that is strong but it does smell very very nice oh well, let's go ahead and give blossom a scent in here too while we're at it Ooh, that's flowers <laughs> that is flowers it's like they took every flower there was and crammed it into one essential oil that's pretty cool okay so i do actually have a make me type item in here this is from aiden madison i do believe oh okay so not too much pigment but it is just kind of like a creamy lip gloss with a bit of like shine to it you can kind of almost see the shine a little bit better in the actual tube itself than you can swatch Ooh, food so next up in here we have some purple heirloom potato chips well, it's slow cooked with coconut oil from jackson's honest and these expired april 14th <laughs> but i'm gonna eat them anyway those are so purple they're very pretty don't taste good to me and then the very last thing we have in here is a super interesting box which i feel like i've received something in a box just like this before this is from deco miami resort label shipping gift box oh it's a nail lacquer <laughs> okay whoa that's so pretty look it oh my gosh that's a very very different looking nail polish bottle i typically just like chuck all my nail polishes into this 
Well, I think it's actually like a canister for sugar that you used to put on like your counters in your kitchen, but I chuck all my nail polishes in it. But this is super, super pretty. This is probably gonna set out on a camera somewhere. And this is just like a creamy white nail polish. It looks like you'd need like a couple coats to really get to like full opacity, but I do love this little bottle. It's so cute, kind of like retro looking. I really, really like that. I get to eat chips and lipstick at the same time. Wow, okay, all right, you guys. Um, I guess, I guess I'm done, finally. I'm so sorry, this is gonna be the longest video in like history, but I really wanted to get through all of these subscription boxes. I think this is probably the most subscription boxes ever unboxed in one video. Don't know if there's any way to fact check that, so I'm probably wrong, but uh, it's definitely the most subscription boxes I've ever unboxed in one video. Anyway, so that is everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching and sticking it out with me. If you made it this far, give yourself a cookie because you deserve one. Anyway, again, just thank you guys so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I will just see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.